what can I get that's good value that I can plug a bunch of stuff into? Multi-channel interfaces. So this is interfaces that are more than two channel. So let's break it down. Let's take a step back here. Here's my gear guide, by the way, studiolivetoday.com slash gear. You can jump over there. The, what most people are looking for when they get started is an audio interface that they can record a guitar, a microphone, or maybe both at the same time. That's kind of standard. So what I recommend for that, uh, there's a couple of options here, but my absolute go-to is the one that I'm using that's plugged into my iPad Pro right now down there, and it is the Steinberg UR22C. Why do I like this? Well, yes, it's got a slightly higher price tag than some at nearly $200, but you got two Yamaha D-Pre preamps in the front there, so you can plug in two mics, you can plug in two line inputs, two guitars, or you can plug in a stereo line in input. Around the back here, you've got MIDI in and out. You've got a balanced output for your monitor speakers. You've got two ways of powering it, either direct via USB-C, or you can plug in a five volt DC power, which means you can use this on the go. Yeah, you can plug it in and power it up via a portable battery. So it ticks all the boxes. If you are recording one or two microphones, or you're recording a guitar, or a stereo keyboard, or two guitars, or a mic and a guitar, you're covered. The question I get though is people are saying to me, Pete, I want to record, I want to record my acoustic and I want to record a direct line signal on my acoustic. I want to mic it up with stereo mics and I want to record my vocals. You know, you're always wanting more people. So what do I do with that? What's a good quality interface? Still going to work with all my gear, but it's not going to break the bank and it's going to let me plug in multiple devices. Well, in my experience, there's a few options that you have here. The option that I go for, and please tell me in the chat if you have different options. The Steinberg UR44C is is uh, the big brother or big sister or big cousin of, uh, of the previous interface. And yes, you're gonna be paying a little bit more for it. But look at this, you got the same functionality there, but you've got four of them. Yes, count them, four. So you can do four microphones, four direct signals. You can do two stereo signals in there. And guess what? You've even got two inputs on the back here. So you could actually got six channels, up to six separate channels to record in here. You've still got your MIDI. This time you've got either USB 3 power or you can plug it directly into mains power. So you've still got two ways of powering it, but because it used a bit more juice, you need some mains power there. You've got two separate line inputs, line outputs, so you can send it out to two different sets of speakers or a set of speakers and a mixer or whatever you want there. It is a great unit. Now I own the UR44, the older variant, of this. This one just adds a few additional features and is, uh, is uh, updated to USB-C as opposed to USB 3 that, uh, sorry, USB 2 that the old one was running on. So that's my recommendation. Look, that's pretty pricey at $359. There are other options there. The other one that a lot of folks go for is the Focusrite Scarlet. Now, if you go all the way up to the 18i8, which is kind of the, uh, the flagship, you're going to pay a bit more. You're going to pay 420 clams for that one. Has very similar feature set and is quite similar to the Steinberg option just a little bit more expensive but as you can see there it's almost exactly the same layout there like almost exactly like they're, they're very very similar bits of kit the other options that you have is to go the behringer route at this price point you're getting basically the same features now i don't love how busy this front is but it's actually got a lot of good information there you've got a uh, line or instrument level for each thing you can actually add a pad there if you've got a loud signal you've got stereo monitor options there you've got four channels across the front there you've got 192 kilohertz and 24 bit sound so it does all of the things you've got main outs there look you've even got xlr outs on this one so i know a lot of people that use this behringer and swear by it and say it's good the thing with the behringer though Make sure you get one that has HD at the end of it, because if you get something that doesn't, you're getting yourself a 16-bit interface. So again, if you don't mind the whole Behringer thing, uh, and then, look, this is actually really cheap at the moment. <laughs> I'm, I'm tempted to pick one of these up just to test it out, uh, because normally they're about 250. Uh, so 169 is actually a really good price for that. And you can see they get pretty darn good reviews as well. So if you, you're looking on the budget and you still want to get all the features, then you can go the Behringer route as well. Keep in mind, the ones I've showed you there are all class compliant. Now I'm mentioning that because if you're using iOS, if you're using your iPhone, upside down, or your iPad, you do need an interface that's going to be class compliant because that means that it can run without drivers. If you use some of the more high-end interfaces, so you might be thinking, why, why don't I use like, you know, one of those 16 channel interfaces? A lot of those need drivers to run at all. 
which means you can use them with your Mac, you can use them with your PC, but if you want to use them with iOS, you need a class compliant. So look for the Steinberg UR series, the Focusrite Scarlet series, or the Behringer HD series, and you'll get yourself some pretty good stuff.